Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your Windows 11 for gaming in 2024. It works on both low-end and high-end PC and in all models of laptop and desktop. So I hope this video helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is storage optimization. And for that, you have to search for settings on your PC. And once you're over here, look up for storage. In the storage settings right over here, you'll find something called storage sense. Simply click on it and make sure to select keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary files and app files. After that, user content cleanup, simply select on and run storage sense should be set to every day. Delete files in my recycle bin should be set to 14 days and in my downloads folder should be set to never. Then scroll down and you'll find run storage sense. Simply click on that. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 11 Pro for $235.99 but on this sale you can get it for $32.23 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just $16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number two is Group Policy Editor. And for that, simply press your Windows and R key together and then type in gpedit.msc. Once you're over here, first thing you have to go into administrative templates, windows components, app privacy, and you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Simply double click to open this thing up, click on enable, default for all applications should be set to force deny and then click on ok. This will make sure that this policy is running and it is set to force deny. The second policy that you're looking for right over here is right under administrative templates, power management. You have to scroll a little bit down and you'll find power management somewhere over here. In this you'll find power throttling settings. Simply open this thing up and you'll find it turn off power throttling. Double click to open this thing. Select enabled and then click on apply. This will disable power throttling on your PC and help you to consistently provide enough power to all of the hardware to function appropriately. Step number three is setting up virtual memory. And for that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows, head over to the advanced section, then for processor scheduling, set it to programs and virtual memory, click on change. Deselect automatically manage paging file size and you'll find custom size right over here. The initial size should be set to 1361 and for for the maximum size, it should be half of your total physical memory. So for that, search for system information on your PC and look for install physical memory on your PC. It is 32 GB for me. So simply open up your calculator, put it beside the screen right over here, multiply your installed physical memory with 1024 and this will give you your memory in megabytes. Simply divide this whole value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size. This will optimally set your virtual memory. Click on the set button right over here and then OK. Next step is creating a restore point. And for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Look for your local disk C and then click on create. Simply name it Windows so you can remember it. And I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once it is done, simply click on close and then close system properties. Next step is the new windows optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. This pack contains all the folders which are necessary to optimize the performance of your windows from the hardware. First is disabling unwanted services. And in here I have listed a ton of services which are really process consuming and are not very effective. It includes disabling Bluetooth services, so you can skip it if you are using any Bluetooth devices, disable core parking, disable downloading maps, extra unnecessary services, printer services, transparency, Xbox services, thread priority and Win32 separation. Simply double click to run all of them. Then over here, I have also left revert registries folder if you want to revert all of the registries back to normal if there are any issues. In the second folder, I have left files for fixing your input lag. 
The first one is the keyboard latency fix and for this I recommend you guys to leave your keyboard specifications down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list. Second is the mouse latency registries in which all of you have to run the fixed mouse relay registry and only desktop users or laptop users with an external mouse should use the disable pointer precision because it will make your mouse ultimately slow and make it true to the drag. That means that your mouse will only drag as much as you are dragging it on your desk and it will make it more precise. Third folder is a RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of RAM presets right over here. I use 32 GB RAM so I need to run this one but it could be different for your PC so you can simply double click to run anything from this list. Once again I have also left a reset to default just in case it doesn't work out that well for you guys. Fourth folder is the process lasso in which I have left a setup. You can simply install it and then open process lasso on your PC. This application is super important because it can do a lot of things. So let's say you are running applications right over here and I'll simply pop up my game that is Valorant. Once you open up the game that you like to play, you can simply scroll down and find that in the list right over here. As you guys can see, Valorant Win64 Shipping.exe is running right over here. What you have to do is select the game window, right click on that and then go over to CPU Priority, click on Current and then set it to High. Right click on the application once again, head over to CPU Affinity, click on Current and then select Select CPU Affinity. Click on that and deselect CPU 0 and let all of the CPU selected right over here. Click on OK and right click on it once again. Click on Induce Performance Mode and that should be done. You can head over to Options right over here. Click on CPU and then scroll down and you'll find something called Pro Balance. In this list, you'll find Disable Core Parking. Simply click on that. Head over to Memory and then click on Enable Smart Trim. Once that is done, you can keep this application minimized and it will manage your CPU for the best FPS possible in the game. Fifth folder is the batch files in which I have left disabling memory compression, disable unnecessary services and useful tweaks. You can simply right click on them and then click on edit in notepad to see exactly what they are doing on your PC. This will disable memory compression. So how you have to run is, is right click on it and then run this as administrator and it will automatically perform the command that it has to do. Second one is disable unnecessary services and here is how you have to do it. Right click on it and then click on run this as administrator. Once you are looking at a screen like this, simply press yes and then over here you will find basic disabler so you can set basic, standard or advanced and if you want to know what they do, you can simply type in basic info and it will show you all of the disabled things right over here. Simply select no if you don't like it and I would refer you guys to simply go with standard and if that is not fixing your issues, you can go with advanced. Simply press enter and it will start performing all of the tweaks. Once that is done, it will be closed automatically. Once again, if you want to revert all of these things back, you can simply run this as administrator once again. And once you're over here, press yes again and then simply type in revert and it will revert all of the settings back again. Last is the useful tweaks.batch file. And once again, it is going to do some PCD edit and disabling power saving features on your USB and Ethernet so you can get rid of fluctuating ping, packet loss and input latency. You can simply right click and run this as administrator again. Last folder is the power plan in which I have left ultimate power plan.txt. Simply open this thing up and you'll find a string right over here. Simply control C to copy it and then open up CMD as administrator. On the screen, you have to simply control V to paste the scheme and press enter and it will automatically add a power plan which you can head over into control panel and then search up for power options right over here. And then you'll find ultimate performance. If that is not selected automatically, you can simply click to select it and this will set up everything that is required to improve the performance of your PC. Next step is optimizing your GPU's performance by registry editor. Simply search for reg edit and you'll find registry editor right over here. Once you're here, you'll find a screen similar to this. If you don't know anything, you have to simply search for hkey current user, head over to software and then find Microsoft in this list. Once you find it, simply drop it down and you'll find a lot of things over here. But what you're looking for is DirectX. You'll simply look at this and you'll find in users GPU preferences. You'll find a lot of applications right over here. What you have to basically do is simply look up for the game that you want to apply this for and then select open file location. 
If it takes you to a shortcut, right click on that and click on open file location once again and now you'll be in the game directory. Head back to Riot Games, open up the folder, click on live and then you'll find and shoot a game. Open this thing up, binaries, win64 and here is the game that is win64shipping.exe. You have to know what application that you are using. Simply right click on that and then go over to copy as path. Right click on any empty area, click on new string value and then paste the file location right over there. Make sure to remove any double inverted commas and press enter. Once again, this is already added so I cannot add it. But once again, what you have to do is simply right click on that file, go over to modify and then set put in GPU preference is equal to 2 colon and once you're done with that click on ok and that is all for this video i hope all of these steps will help you to increase the game performance and in general your windows performance by a significant percentage i hope this video helps you out if it does make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button since it helps you out as well also we have dropped out channel membership so if you're not a channel member yet consider getting the membership as it encourages me to make more awesome guys like this thank you for supporting the channel and we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out